Hi everyone, this is Yuri at my Photo to Paint Ticks and Tricks YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite techniques of transforming a photograph into a watercolor painting digitally. I developed this technique more than a year ago and it is still one of the one of the top rated techniques by my students and followers. On one hand, uh, this watercolor technique is quite easy to do. On the other hand, the result of uh, watercolor transformation is amazing. It looks so realistic and natural as watercolor, so no one would tell what it was made of in photo digitally. And of course, the process by itself is quite an enjoyment. What we need for this is an iPad and a couple of applications. Why iPad? Because the main, uh, the main application that we'll be using works only on iPad. Well, it also works on the iPhone, but I always suggest to use larger screens for your work process. This app is called iColorama, developed by a beautiful lady, Katerina Alexienko, under the nickname of Teresita. iColorama is my favorite app so far, where I can edit photos and transform them into painting one-stop shop. If you don't have iColorama, I strongly recommend it. If you already are a iColorama user, you know what I'm talking about. The other app in this process which we'll be using is called Waterlog by Teen Rocket. Teen Rocket developers. Great app by itself for watercolor effects. Although I, Colorama is uh, a more complex app to use. I will not be covering all of its features in this video. I have a complete overview of iColorama in another video in this channel, which you are welcome to watch. This technique is only one of many other different techniques which I developed by using iColorama alone or in combination with other applications. I will be posting all my tips and tricks in this YouTube channel, so I recommend you to subscribe to it to make sure that you don't miss my new content. Also, you can go straight to my tutorial site to subscribe for membership there where I already have 30 plus tutorials. And of course Facebook. I have Facebook group with the similar name Photo to Paint group where all my friends and followers have the privilege to post their artworks made from photo images. And finally if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them down here so I could come back to reply to you or comment back to you. Now enough of promotions, let's jump right into watercolor photo painting. Just follow my steps and enjoy your art. So, now we are ready to start our project. I'm going to work with this Apple Pencil, but uh, you are welcome to do everything with your fingers if you don't have the pencil. The first thing we need to open iColorum application. Next thing is to upload the image. For this project, I selected uh, this image of uh, of Chicago, the Millennium Park and the seed and the tourists around it and the buildings. This technique works pretty good with the cityscapes and architecture. 
So we're going to use this image. As I said, we're going to use uh, iColorama and uh, Waterlog. So in iColorama, we would prepare the underpainting, which we will then process in, uh, in Waterlog. For that, we need to go to Brush menu on the top and select the Artist Brush submenu. The white canvas will pop up immediately. If we decrease the opacity, we'll see the image itself under the canvas. But we're going to paint on the white canvas. Next, we need to select the brush. For this technique, I would select this brush family, which is number three from the top, called uh, Water Sea. Tap on brush again to hide the window. And I will increase the size of the brush just a little bit. And I will start tapping and painting on this canvas, starting from the sides of the image, right side, left side, bottom, top, and I will be leaving some white space in the corners, on the sides of the canvas. And I will continue to tap in the middle. This is our underpainting, so we don't need to put that much details on that. Okay? Next, I want to, to paint over some areas which I want to focus on. For this, I will select another brush, which is brush, this one, dry 2. Tap on brush. I will decrease the size of this brush and I will paint on some areas like uh, the figures of people and some uh, other areas which will be seen more clearly on our underpainting. But still I want to leave the sides of the underpainting with the white areas. Okay, that's enough. Now I press on apply to save this result and I press on save, save as JPEG, so we save it in our camera roll. So we're gonna work with this image uh, a bit later. Now I close iColorama and I go to the waterlock application. The first thing I always do here, I go to these settings, which are the outcome resolution settings, and I press on Jumbo 12, which is the highest resolution. Then I press on the, the photo icon, and I select this painting, which we just made in iColorama and it automatically repaints the image into the waterlock effect, like this. That's great. That's what we need for the watercolor underpainting. Now I just press on this icon to save this variation in my camera roll. Good. Next I close waterlock and go to iColorama again. Here I press on steps on the uh, top left corner and I select this original image we placed here in iColorama before. Alright? Then what I need to do the next step in iColorama I want to make a good sketch. I know that uh, for the sketch the contrasty image doesn't work well so it has a lot of uh, details and a lot of noise in it. So I want to level up the shadows and highlights in this image. The best way to do that here is uh, I go to Adjust and I go to Tone Lab and the first preset which is uh, selected by default uh, is uh, this preset number one. It balances up the shadows and highlights. That's what I need. I press on Apply to save this change and now I want to make a sketch. For this, my usual preset is uh, when I go to Style and then Sketch. Then I go to Preset. 
and I select preset number three. And that's what I need. I press apply to save this change. It still looks a bit noisy with a lot of lines. I want to adjust it a little bit. I tried different things like uh, going to adjust, then uh, exposure, then uh, turning the contrast slider, exposure slider to the right so it looks like this. Uh, it works fine, but uh, the other thing I use is I go to effect and then I go to glow. And in glow, I think I go to uh, the last preset, which is nine. And here I turn down the contrast, I think, no, or blur. Oh, temperature, yes, I turn the temperature to the left, contrast is to the right, and uh, blur is, yes, a blur to the left. So I, I think I have a little bit better result. I press on apply to save this change. If I still don't like some of the lines, which look too busy to me, I go to brush again and I select the paint brush. Then what I do, I decrease the stroke opacity a little bit more than half and I just paint on some areas which I don't want to see all these thick lines or where I think there are too many lines which I want to take away. I also take away some of the lines on the sides of the canvas. So it's usually in uh, watercolor painting there are no lines on the sides. So I can do that. Or where we have uh, busy, very busy lines, I take them away. All right, when I'm happy, I just press on apply to save this change. And what I'm gonna do next? Oh, the next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sharpen these lines by going to effects and then sharpen and I decrease the radius to about 20 and press apply to save this change. And now we're gonna have the magic. Still in effects menu, we go to blend and we go to photo on the bottom and select this last photo which we made with the uh, water lock. You can press on fill to make sure that this uh, photo which we selected fills in the entire canvas. Now we press on preset and select multiply. And here now we have all these lines, the sketch on top of our watercolor underpainting. And that's what we need. I press on apply and we have very nice, very interesting result. So the two last things are to adjust uh, colors and uh, sharpness. For the colors I go usually to tone, enhance, on preset and I tap on different presets here and select the one I like. I think I like this number level. It works perfectly well with uh, all the images. Tap on preset and tap on apply to save this change. And the final thing I'm gonna do is just to sharpen this entire image and go to effect again and uh, sharpen and decrease the radius to I think about 20. So that will do. Press on apply. And this is the final result of our work. Now all I need to do is to press on save and save it in my camera roll. Excellent. So you can try it with your images. I can say that not each and every image works fine with this technique, but most of uh, cityscape, landscape and architecture images work really good. And one last thing, 
because a good sketch means a lot in this technique. I'm going to show you some more uh, ways to making a sketch. In uh, iColorama itself, let me bring it back to this image. In iColorama itself, besides this uh, uh, sketch which I made in uh, style sketch and number three, uh, we can do sketch in if we go still in, if we are in style and we go to edges in edges there are some sketches which would work okay although they look more artificial and i don't use them a lot we can also do sketch in iColorama by using et flow and uh, if we go to preset and select preset number three, no number 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 four, and we decrease these values of p and sigma r to the left, we can make some sketches out of here as well. The other application which makes good sketches and which I use frequently is this one, Picasso. If we open Picasso and load this uh, image, yeah, here it is, and we press on artistic, and then we go to watercolor, and in watercolor we use any of these uh, watercolor presets, which are after watercolor 5, watercolor 6, for example, and we press on tools. And what we're going to do here, this first slider, which is uh, colorfulness, we turn it all the way to the left. And the next thing we're going to do is to press on sketchness and turn sketchness all the way to the right so you see it makes really nice sketch out of this then we can play around with uh, outlines thickness and uh, outlines itself just to make it uh, uh, less busy or more busy less details or, or more details what next we play can play around with uh, depth it uh, makes it also less busy and contrast no it doesn't work maybe highlights no so we are working mostly with black point as well yeah no so it's depth it's depth and i think it's also details which is working fine yes to make it the sketch more busy or less details so let's uh, use it uh, this way and uh, press apply and save so we are saving the sketch and then i go again to icolorama and i'm selecting this sketch Then I go to effects and blend and I go to photo to, to select our um, waterlock made underpainting, fill, go to preset and multiply. So it's a bit different, it's a bit more precise sketch and it looks uh, very nice as well. So these are the ways of making good sketch and combine it with a watercolor underpainting to make this final result. So today you learned my tips and tricks on how to transfer a photo to a beautiful watercolor painting by using iColorama and Waterlog apps on iPad. I hope you enjoyed this technique and I'm sure you'll be making great watercolor art 
with these tricks. Once again, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so you are notified about my new tips and tricks posted here. Leave your questions or comments and you are welcome to visit my tutorial site at www.phototopaint.com See you next time and happy photo painting!